What's up YouTube? I don't know where you guys are at, but here in Florida we are suffering from a gas crisis due to the pipeline hack. Um, right now, my Tundra has a half tank of gas. Yesterday I had a full tank of gas, but I had to do a bunch of service work. And so I've been working at home today, saving what gas I have for emergency on-site jobs. And the fact that I have a site survey, site walk, whatever you want to call it, with a brand new potential customer tomorrow, and I don't want to push that off because I'm out of gas. And so, I've been doing as much work as I can remotely. I have a little time off. There's something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is to replace the lanai screens on my lanai. And I figured I would do a little tutorial video for those of you who have just bought your first house, maybe just moved to Florida, or a place that has screened in lanais, and you have a cat or dog busted through them, and you don't want to pay someone a couple hundred bucks to replace them all. But, as luck would have it, I just remembered about four years ago, I let somebody borrow my screen spline tool and so now i don't have them i got screen i've got screen i've got spline but i don't have the tool that i need to put in my screen spline now there's a lowe's three miles from here actually less than that probably about two miles there's a lowe's two miles from here and i could drive down there and not use a whole lot of gas or I could ride my bike. And seeing how I'm all about burning calories, I thought I'd do a few things. One, quick update. Um, someone just wrote a nice comment on the review that I did on this seat six months ago and said that he was going out and buy one. I just wanna let you guys know. I am still using the seat. I did not put the original saddle back on. This thing does do as it's advertised. I would not call it the most comfortable bike seat in the world, but, cause it is a little, little, a little uncomfortable during the ride but the best part is is you don't have that discomfort after the ride anybody who's done some miles on a bike knows that uh, your downstairs part hurts <laughs> for a day or so after a long long ride and this does in fact prevent that from happening so we're going to go on a quick little jaunt down to the store the only thing i'm concerned about is i don't have a way to secure my bike while i'm inside i run the risk of some dickhead stealing it so, I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. Um, yeah, so anyhow, let's figure out what we're gonna do. Tires low.
huge. They used to have them smaller about 14 years ago. This thing's gargantuan. Oh well, that's what it is. I need it. I gotta buy it. The only one stole my bike. That's a bus. Battery change. Hey, here's the deal. Back when I, when my line eyes and mess, so just ignore all that. That's why I'm out here. I haven't had time to clean it. But back when I had the cat and our big line with the pool, he would bust out the screens all the time. And so I got pretty productive at doing this. Mail call time. It's mail call time. I just went to the UPS store and got a letter from Mr. Mark Elton from uh, Minnesota. Is that Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota. Um, he wants some free stickers. And if you want free stickers, please send us a self-addressed envelope to Digital 410 2710 Del Prado Boulevard South, Unit 2, Box 209, Cape Coral, Florida 33907. Thank you, Mark. I opened up and I saw these inside. I was like, ooh, what's, what's those? And <laughs> he sent us some 2020 Trump currency and a great letter saying he thoroughly enjoys our YouTube content and loves the channel and wants to put some stickers on his vehicle to help promote the channel. Thank you so much, Mark. I will get your stickers cut up and sent out to you right away. And for the gentleman who sent me the postcard with the big blue ox, I do apologize. I cut your stickers. I actually was making them up at the end of a episode about three weeks ago on the What's In Your Head podcast, and you can watch it on YouTube. And at the end of the show, you'll see me cutting up your stickers. After the show, I put your stickers in your envelope and your postcard in the original envelope that you mailed them to me in and set them on my kitchen counter so that I could take them down to the store and mail them the very next day. And I don't know who, but someone in my house did a little house cleaning and I think they vanished. Unless I mailed them to you and I forgot, um, but in my mind they're gone. So if you're the one who sent me the big blue ox postcard, please email me. Don't worry about sending me another letter and wasting more postage. I will pay for this one. Email me at info at d-410.com. Tell me you're the one who sent me the postcard and I will get your sticker sent out to you. Thank you guys so much. What I do is I take the old spline, cut them in little pieces, and use those as holders to hold the new screen in while I replace it with the new spline. So let's get started on that. As you see, cut short pieces and I'm using them to get this thing held in place just so I can size it. You going zoomies? Okay. So now and get out my razor blade and cut shy at the bottom 
Now I'm sure there's going to be professional screen installers telling me I'm doing this all wrong, and that's fine. Because I'm not a professional screen installer. I'm just a guy who's done several hundred of these because of a cat. Two of these up here in the corner. Basically, I just put a little chunk in there, a little one over here, and I'm not putting them in all the way because I want to, I need to pull them back out. So now I can put a real piece across the top. Work my weights down the side and do the bottom, and that'll be done. Save yourself the hassle. Pull this one out. Pull this one in. Push it in from the bottom. And take your roller gear to the top. And then slide it in. Go down the line. Out over here. Now, if you're painting, I cut that to fit, but now it's like three inches longer. That's because the rubber stretches a bit when you put it in. Now, I was disappointed at this. This is something they call a professional grade, professional screen tool. Anytime a piece of equipment has to convince you how great it is by writing the name professional on it, it's garbage. Um, I used to have some that were smaller with metal tips. It worked a lot better. But anyhow, I already broke off the quote unquote screen puller on this. But I digress. So now we have this end. We're going to work our way down the sides and then across the bottom, which I didn't pull my spline out. The problem too is having your screen messed up like this is it allows not only bugs but grass and weeds to get any weed eat. Well, this is the first one I've done in about eight years, so bear with me here. Take your razor blade. Now I'm sure there's a way to do this with a tool so that it cuts while you're splining it, but I don't know that secret. So I've always just taken a razor blade and cleaned it up myself. There we go. One install screen. Now I just got to do three panels and the top screen. But first I have to buy more uh, screen. But as you see, it's not that hard. Just make sure it's taut. Just use temporary spacers to hold the screen in place until you get it ready to go. Pop it in. I will say, um, depending on the spline tool you use, sometimes it does take a little getting used to to get that thing figured out. And I hope that helped you. I know I didn't get a lot of super up close detail, which we never do because, well, I don't have a camera person and I'm trying to get stuff done. But you can see the fundamentals of how to replace the screen. Uh, the hardest part, once again, will be learning how to use your spline tool. But basically you wanna put the spline in kind of like in an angle and then snap it up. Um, so you'll, depending on which way your screen framing is laid out, usually it goes 
down and then up. Sometimes it goes up and then in, but you put it in as an angle and use your spline tool to push down and in. Uh, you'll get it. I have faith in you. Please like, subscribe, share us with your friend if you want free stickers to promote the podcast and the YouTube channel. Send a self-addressed envelope to this address right here. Little hint, the bigger the envelope you send, the bigger stickers you will get returned to you. So uh, keep that in mind, but send us an envelope with a stamp on it and your address inside of another envelope and we'll get that sent out to you. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go finish cleaning the back of my privacy fence and I'll talk to you guys next time. This has been a Digital 410 production. <laughs>